Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, how to sell and hold like a professional trader, a part of three. I believe that uh, you have watched part one and part two, that everything is uh, clear to you. All right, let's talk about part three. We're going to talk about a different scenario, a different way to buy and hold a financial instrument, all right? So in this case, the market, S&P 500, is bullish. So market sentiment is bullish, all right? So many stock are going up, or in that particular sector, uh, many stock are bullish, or the market in general, looking at the S&P 500, is bullish, okay? Now, we are trading first the market, okay, before any financial instrument. Now we are looking at financial instrument that we can sell and hold. So when we are talking about sell and hold, we can sell and hold for short term, medium term, and long term. All right, it's very important. Now, when we look at the financial instrument that we want to sell and hold, okay, Another reason that can, another good reason that can allow us to sell a hold, though the market is bullish, is when a company, okay, is fundamentally bearish. The market is bearish. Everybody is in a good mood. All right, everybody want to buy, but at the end of a quarter, so this is end of. Uh, March, there are okay beginning of May. That's why the month of May is often bearish, because the first quarter of the year has ended end of March, and then beginning of May we have the earnings news, earnings report. Yes or no? So we have another earnings report at the end of uh, what June. So June, beginning of July. So beginning of July. Okay, that's another time people. Okay, are watching the market, all right? And again, when is that? Okay, uh, in October. Okay, October. And again, that's why October very often can be bearish like May. And then we have also sometime in January, earnings report being released at the end of a quarter. So here we are, market is bullish, everybody's in a good mood. But stock X, okay, stock that I'm calling X, okay, came out and they say, uh, analysts forecast that okay, it will be good news, but they come up and say, sorry guys, uh, due to blah, 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 we could not meet the analyst forecast. So they have failed to make, uh, to, to meet the consensus of uh, the market analyst. So when a company failed to meet uh, the analyst forecast, generally speaking, not always, let me say this again, generally speaking, but not always, it's bearish, all right? They came out, they said, oh, we can't make up the forecast, blah, blah, blah. They fell short. So, which means people were expecting it to make, to make, okay, more money, but they make less money. Okay. So, we can investigate and say, what's going on here? So, when they, they fail to meet the forecast, we want to investigate what's going on. So, one of the tricks is we can go and do Google Acid test, which I mentioned part one. We can go and look at the balance sheet. And what are we looking on the balance sheet? We'll be looking at the cash flow. Cash coming in, cash coming in more. Next thing, are they coping with the competition? All right. And next thing, we'll check the management. Are they good enough? Did they change the management recently? Are those people there or don't know exactly what's going on? Are they failing to be the competition? What's going on? What's, how is the future for them? So here we are. The market is bullish, but there are reasons, fundamental reasons, market sentiment reason relating to the stock that are bearish. We can sell and hold. But when we are doing that, in that particular scenario, I mentioned, what? Okay. Uh, normally we say end of uh, March, beginning of April, isn't it? But the market usually, they, they sell in May more than April, yes or no? All right, because of Easter, blah, blah, blah. So they usually say it's selling me. So they will release the earning new probably in April like that. People are watching in May. People want to sell it if they are failing to meet the analyst forecast. So 
So those reasons, so fundamental reason relating to a particular stock, okay, we allow her to sell it. All right? But the market is bearish. And when we are selling those scenarios, we should adopt short-term view, not long-term. All right? Not long-term. So we can sell it for three months. We can sell it for two months. We can sell it for one month. We can sell even sometime more. Now, what usually happens, the hedge fund will do their fundamental analysis. First, they will analyze the sector in which they are. If that sector is struggling in part, or money is coming out of that sector into another sector because the sector is overboard. And at the same time, that particular stock is also struggling again. Then, okay, we have a good reason to sell it, though the market is bearish. And when we are doing that, we don't want to sell and forget. We don't want to sell and uh, close our eyes. We don't want to sell and let our guard down. Okay? We need to keep our guard up. Have you done Shotokan? You keep it up all the time, yes or no? All right? Protective measure, defensive measure, knowing that we have a reason to sell this stock, fundamentally speaking. Oh, now they have failed. They, 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 they are honest about it. They come out and they say, oh, market, uh, be careful, warning, all right? They are giving warning to investors that, okay, um, it's very, very challenging time for us, blah, 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 blah. And now people are going to go and check the balance sheet, perform Google and see test, and look carefully, a little bit deeper, using common sense and say, what's going on here, all right? And they say, all right, they will conclude that, okay, these people, they are truly struggling. Is it temporary or is it going to affect them down the line? So people will do all kind of due diligence related to that, okay, earning news. So I want you to pay attention carefully to the month of May, very, very important. Month of July, very, very important. This is the time for this scenario, all right? Month of October and month of January. You want to pay attention to the early news, and you want to pick the right candidate that are talking all kind of nonsense. As I said to you, generally speaking, when they fail to meet the analyst forecast, is bearish, but not always. It may sound bearish, you jump on it and sell, but behold, director, we go behind the scene and work hard. And then one month later, they come up with some good news, that's talking about it. So they start releasing some good news to tell people that things are getting better, things are getting better. So as a, 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 a bearish trader, you don't want to be squeezed out of your bearish trade. You remember that well? Okay. A squeeze a bearish trader, squeeze the short sellers. You don't want that. Okay. This is very, very important. So when the market is bullish and we have a fundamental reason, as I told you, during those particular time of the year, and we know that, okay, it's looking bearish for that particular stock, don't sell it yet. Don't sell it yet. The only time that you will start selling is when you have, a, okay, a technical signal. Don't sell like old-fashioned sellers. Use a different time frame trading method to sell it. So if you are a position trader, you'll be using quarterly chart, weekly chart, and four-hour time frame, yes or no? All right. So this is something you want to do carefully. So for instance, you are here, okay, so or I suppose you are here, okay, and they come out with, uh, the market was bullish, and the media analyst forecast, in May came out, okay, you see like this. Don't just sell because of the fundamental reason. This is one of the mistakes that the fundamental traders are making all the time. They don't know how to time the market. Time the market using different time frame trading method to trade it and adopt either short-term or medium-term approach. Don't sell and forget, all right, because you'll see sometimes a bounce up like this because they don't like it. So they release the new, they know that they're under pressure, people will try to sell them. The director will start to bring in out some news. So next one they say, oh, by the way, this happened, okay? By the way, that happened. By the way, okay, we pay this one for, now we reduce our debt by X, and so they will bring in some good news. So because of those reasons, you want to be agile, like I said before, and control it. 
So for this tutorial, I don't want it to be too long. If the market is bearish, market sentiment is bullish, talking about the S&P 500, but if the stock, especially they have fair the analyst forecast, or there is a fundamental reason. They came out, they say something, they say blah, 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 or one very important popular director resign. So people want to know why the director is going away. All right? Or uh, an active investor is putting them under pressure to change their policy, saying that, okay, they want the director to be sacked. And there is something going on that is uh, making investors worry. You remember, the investor don't like uncertainty. So when they see there is uncertainty, it's bearish. Right? It's bearish. Right? But now, how do you handle it? You want to improve your market timing and take it like a pro, gently, gently, gently. This is it. So some trader will uh, okay go and sell call options. Some will use CFD, or right? some will use uh, okay normal trading approach, pre betting, and so on. Okay, to grab some profit very fast. A hedge fund will do that sometimes. And this is uh, what is what they were doing with um, uh, Tesla stock because uh, uh, they the Tesla did not uh, fail. Okay, to meet the analyst forecast. I'm not saying that. Okay, I'm just telling you now uh, for uh, what if they were doing here. This is what they were doing here. Uh, so they believe after doing the fundamental analysis that uh, Tesla will struggle in the future. That's the reason. All right. So now they go around looking for some good, other good excuse to sell. But the S&P 500 was bullish. You see what was happening here. This is what we are talking about. But as uh, somebody who wants to sell like a pro, sell a hole like a pro, I don't short term or medium term approach, not long term, not, not long term. It may become a long term activity as they are coming out with more bearish news. Okay, so sometimes they may come out. Okay, for instance, a, a beginning of April, they really didn't see, they give a warning. Okay, All right, market maybe they forgive them and the price continue to go up. Now they come back again. Next early, they say, sorry guys, we couldn't meet again. Well, now the bell is ringing. Third time, if they say that again, that's it. People going to be selling them like crazy. They say, well, are these people, that's it. Investors running away because of the certainty, because of the fear. And you, as a professional bearish trader, okay, or die hard seller, you take advantage of it using a different time frame trading. Because sometimes, this is very important for me to mention to traders that want to engage in the activity of shell and hold. Do me a favor. Okay, you can quote me on Twitter. In fact, I'm recommend that you quote me on Twitter on Facebook. See, just say that. So, for instance, the market is bullish. Okay, they come out with all kind of that. They come out and say they meet, they fail to 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 meet the the analyst forecast. Okay, right. So that month, okay. So suppose we here they do something like that happen. Market bullish, but they have a fundamental, okay, factors that are bearish. So now during that month, look, the stock went down big time like this. Don't come, all right? This is something that even professional trader did and they get cooked. It gets a big time, went down big time like this, all right? All right, so when you look at it, it came down again. So now here you are, you want to sell. You say, okay, that's exactly what you're saying. That's the scenario or the very, if any Google has it, tells, well, uh, the care they failed to meet the analyst forecast, the market is bullish. Now this stock is intrinsically bearish. Uh, yeah, yeah, it went down big time already, all right? Is that a good candidate? <laughs> why are you selling it after okay after the party is over? All right. So why you, the, the best scenario will be at least to come back to the fifty percent Fibonacci retracement of this. So sometimes the reaction may be fact. So which be the market will the people the professional trader will come and they will sell it very fast and then that they will go away. And then if you try to sell after that, all you have is a kind of consolidation, a choppy price move hanging around here, blah, blah, or maybe another move down, and that's it. The, the, the party is over. So be aware of that when it's already factor in the price. So they may come out and say something that is bearish, the market is bullish. If the same professional hedge fund that showed it, see that, okay, all right, they pay the price for what they have said, now the stock is overshoot, uh, it's all, okay, factor into the current price, the current price is the fair value, then the investor, long-term investor, 
they will ignore that, uh, okay, a bearish news, and they will start buying the stock so on compassionate ground. Another thing that I want to share before I close uh, uh, this uh, video is this. They talk also about compassionate trading activity. So you may see sometimes you see, Joe, that's exactly what you said in the third tutorial. Market is bullish. Here they are with all those bad news. Balance sheet is getting a bit weak. They are struggling with the competition. They are losing market share. Useless management don't know what's happening. They are under pressure from uh, uh, an active investor. Oh, that's it. They are finished. Right? But sometimes some stock, though they may, some stock sometimes can be lucky. That's why we say compassion is all. This is it. Pay attention. All right? There are times when a, a, a sector is very bullish. So the market is bullish, and the sector is also very, very bullish. All right? So I'll give you one example. A simple example will be, okay, NVIDIA stock. Okay, NVIDIA stock, uh, you can see, recently was very, very bullish. Yes or no? Unless uh, you are living in a different planet, on different planet, okay, was very, very, no, this is not NVIDIA. Okay. was very, very bullish, okay? I'm just giving one example. So I'm speaking to directors so they don't come. So yeah, if you see how it came down, this NVIDIA stock, you see? It went up, oh, 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 people love it. Look at that. Oh, look at that. One month. This is what we are talking about. So I'm not saying this was what has, this is the scenario that we are discussing here, but all I'm saying to you, suppose, okay, the sector is very bullish. Or the peels, you know what is peel? Let me write it for you in case you see George. I don't know what you were talking about. Please see you. Okay. Company in the same industry doing almost the same activity like that financial instrument that you want to set up. The peels are very bullish. So for Nvidia during that time was very, very bullish. Right, so the technology sector was very strong. The market is very bullish. This is a compassionate buying activity that helping a bearish financial instrument. So because of the market sentiment, people just want to buy, okay? So now the company, the next competitor to NVIDIA is what? Okay. Uh, hold on, please. Um, what's the name again? Uh, I'm getting hungry now. Hold up, please, this. Okay, so suppose NVIDIA, as I told you before, was uh, very, very bullish, all right? And then, uh, for instance, uh, all right, the market also was bullish. And one of the competitors to NVIDIA is uh, AMD, all right? So AMD come out, okay? I'm not saying that this is the case. I'm giving an example. Suppose uh, NVIDIA came out, they missed the analyst forecast, all right? So you say the market was bullish, okay? Now they missed the analyst forecast, and we are seeing that uh, okay, NVIDIA is taking the market share of AMD, all right? So now AMD, for this scenario that we are discussing, we have a good reason to try to sell and hold NVIDIA for short term and medium term, though the market is bullish, the market sentiment is bullish, they have missed the analyst forecast, and uh, fundamentally speaking, probably they are crashing under the competition of NVIDIA or something like that. All right? But what I'm saying to you, sometimes you may have that scenario, as I'm telling you now, but the price may not budge one bit, may not go down at all. The reason is because of the compassionate trading. People say, why Why somebody should sell NVIDIA? Okay, the macro chip sector is booming. One should be crazy, all right, to, 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 to sell AMD, all right? So, though AMD may miss analyst forecast, most hedge funds, most professional traders will be a little bit reluctant or even afraid to sell AMD because they know that the sector is booming. They may know 
meet the analyst focal, they may be struggling temporarily, but the long term may be very bright for them. Therefore, bearish trader will be itching to sell it, but they will be also afraid to sell it. Or sometimes, when people try to sell it, all right, other uh, investors will come and buy it because of the sector. This is what we call the compassionate okay, trading activity that can sometimes okay, prevent a bearish financial instrument to decline. Have I made myself clear? I hope I managed to, to explain it to you. So those are the things that you need to take into consideration for this particular scenario when the market is bullish, but the stock, either in May, all right, July, October, or in January, they fail to meet the analyst forecast or they come out with a bearish news, or it can be also a litigation, something that is truly, truly bearish that can weigh on the price causing bearish trader to be attracted to that stock, all right? This is what we are talking about. But as I explained to you, the most important thing, because the market is bullish, but you want to sell a stock that is becoming bearish, you must apply the different time frame trading method. The common trading mistake that the fundamental traders are making, so they will say, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah they are bearish, they are bearish, they are fundamentally bearish, well, they can't cope with the competition, you should sell it now. So people go and just sell, right? And the price bounce out, they take them out, they squeeze them out fast, and they squeeze them badly, or they get burned because they make a wrong decision. That's why I said to you that it is very important okay, to apply a different time frame trading method in that case, so you may control the risk. So you want to have a technical reason why you should sell it. Because the market is bear, the market is bullish, Fundamentally speaking, the stock is, is, is bearish, but you want to sell it, you want to have technical reason, and also apply a different time frame trading method to sell it. Whether you are an investor or hedge fund, you need to do that. Because uh, a lot of hedge funds came uh, lately into the market, and uh, don't know where these people come from. They collect money from uh, investors, and they want to play with it. But what we notice, I can explain it to you now, is that uh, when the market is going up, especially during the third year wave, those market participants, anybody can make money. So they are buying, 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 and the price is just going up. So people believe that those people understand the market, but they do not. They do not. All right. Now the market is about to go down, and they try to sell. All right? So they say, now it's going to go down. All right? Because they don't understand the market timing and they sell at the wrong time and they get cooked. So you take million dollar position and they squeeze you out, they squeeze you big time. Do you, do you have enough, are you going to ask your client for more money so you may survive? This is what's happened. So that's why it's so important all right, that you adopt a short term and medium term view and improve your market timing, okay, take into consideration a clean cut technical bearish trading setup and then apply a different time frame trading method because the stock is fundamentally bearish, the market is bullish. Now we have again fundamental traders and technical traders coming at the right time, at the right place, okay, at a specific price level, selling gently. If this video has been useful to you, please let us know by giving us a thumbs up. If you just like it, be sure to mark it down. Sometimes they are afraid to mark the video down. For me, it doesn't matter. You like it, mark it up. Just like it, mark it down, please, okay? And uh, feel free to share it if you think this is an essential tutorial. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, George Trio, George Trio. And be sure to click on the notification bell so the time we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. We are recording this video today because uh, a TSTWSYS008 trader did ask me, George, how do you buy a hole? So we record a video about that that we post on George YouTube channel. I also asked, George, how do you sell a hole? This is the first time, all right, a trader did ask me that question. How do you sell a hold? <laughs> and I think it's a very important question. Uh, that we can discuss on YouTube to help other traders to understand, okay, how to buy, to, to sell a hold. 
feel free. Uh, we really appreciate it. Where trader, if traders can share this video on the social media, so many traders can can buy and hold. A lot of people learn to buy and hold, and most people buy and hold, and sometimes they don't know how to sell and hold, and they miss out, or they end up being cooked like a Bitcoin traders, right? And they were they were people were. Uh, buying Bitcoin because they don't understand the market, all right? So everybody will buy Bitcoin. So they say, oh, we should buy, buy, buy Bitcoin. And you don't buy for it. There are times when you sell and hold. But now, when we sell in and hold, all right, if you want to see, is it for short term or is it for medium term? This is it. Here it is, this is Bitcoin, here, all right? Here it is. Well, I went, I went up. Here you see, now hedge form, they will sell and hold it now. It's a bounce shop. It's a, this is zigzag pattern being formed here, and now they are selling it down again. This is what we are talking about. Thank you for watching, and uh, happy trading to you all. <laughs>